Hi, I'm Robert Osborne. Up next on an night of films starring James Stewart and Margaret Sullivan, we have what may be the least known of the four films they made together. It's The Shopworn Angel from MGM in 1938 and co-stars Walter Pidgeon. It's a story set during World War I about an unsophisticated soldier on leave in New York City just prior to shipping off to Europe to fight in the war. And that's Jimmy. He's a small town guy who's never been in a big city before. And while he's there, he meets a Broadway actress and he falls head over heels in love. Now this is nothing new for her, but she's quite amused by it and charmed by it. But she's also a worldly woman with a fiance and nothing in common with the soldier. And her dilemma is, should she send this young, innocent guy off to war, knowing the truth, that she won't be waiting for him to come back to her after the war? Or should she make him think that she does care for him and give him something to hold on to while he's out there in harm's way? Now, this was not a new story at all when this movie came out in 1938. There'd been a silent screen version back in 1919, and Gary Cooper had even done an early sound version in 1928. Well, years later, Sophia Loren and Tab Hunter did a close variation of it with a film they made for Sidney Lumet in 1959 called That Kind of Woman. But this 1930 adaptation is, is done very effectively, primarily thanks to its two stars. It's also fascinating in the way it often mirrors the real-life relationship of Jimmy Stewart and Margaret Sullivan. They've been friends for years since they'd met as members of the same theater troupe in the early 1930s. It said that at that time, Jimmy fell in love with Margaret Sullivan, and she adored him always, but she kept falling in love with and marrying other people, including the director, William Wyler, and Jimmy's best friend, Henry Fonda. And after that, another of Stewart's great pals, Agent Leland Hayward. Knowing that background about the two of them kind of gives an added poignancy to this next film as you watch them together. So here from 1938, directed by H.C. Potter, The Shopworn Angel. Mm -hmm.